Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Enchanted Moon. Today I'm doing an unboxing of Sacred Space Crate. We finally got August's box and it's pretty big. And I remember the theme, I believe it's about the goddess Hecate, which is my favorite. So I'm very excited to open this up and let's get to it. So, their boxes, when you open it up, looks like that, which is really cute. Absolutely love it. And I wonder if I should put the camera on the box and lay it here. You think that would work or no? Instead of them looking at me. Okay. So, Hecate! So I'm very thrilled about this. This information we will read last. So I'm super psyched. So we'll read that last. Put them aside. Um, she emailed us a copy of the calendar before because she knew it was gonna, she was waiting on an item and she knew the box was gonna be late. She didn't want us waiting, which is awesome because I love the calendars and I constantly use them. So I already have it, but this is a hard copy. And this is the gorgeous calendar for August. Beautiful. And on the back, as always, is the Zodiac. Very cool. Love it. The artwork on this is just awesome. Um, we already had the full moon, and it was the corn moon, and the full moon was in Aquarius. So I think right now we're on, today is Monday the 10th. So I believe we'll be going into the new moon on the 18th. Ooh, so pretty. It's black. Look how pretty that looks. I just want to give you a quick... That's what I see when I open it. Look how pretty. Gorgeous. So we have this black envelope on top, which is new. Um, and it has this beautiful sticker with a pentacle and a black rose. Really pretty. Mm, I don't know what this is about, so let's... I don't want to rip this sticker. It's too cute. I think I might have gotten it without ripping it. Okay. I definitely did. I don't know what's in here. Oh. In this beautiful envelope, we have Invocation of Hecate, Queen of Witchcraft. Very beautiful. When Hecate's wheel keys all on the side. It's beautiful. And Hecate is the queen of witchcraft. Ooh, we have use of energy of the moon, lunar phases. This is cool. And we also have Hecate's wheel info. So, wow, that is really cool. Very thrilled. And that was in a beautiful black envelope. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then we have black paper, and I'm very psyched because, like I said, Hecate's my baby. All right, so the first thing on top of the box is magic incense sticks. And they got... Sparklies. You see the sparklies on the sticks? That is so cool. Very cool. And they're called magic. Ooh, they smell nice. So that first thing is awesome. The second thing I see right on top is this beautiful crossroads. The crossroads. Spellcrafted soy candle with this beautiful symbol, their symbol right there. On top, it says, Hail to the Witch Mother, Guide of the Crossroads, she who guards the gates of the, of the mysteries, Mighty Queen, beckoning us to return to the place of origin. Step into the eternal crossroads that is her loving embrace. Herein, she offers her keys to her chosen. 
And let's see the inside. Ooh, it is absolutely, smells so good. And it's loaded with goodies. Her key, some crystals all in it. Sparkles. Really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry guys, that do hope that didn't come into the video, but I think it did. Anyway, beautiful, right? Absolutely stunning. The next thing in the box we have is this wrapped in um, bubbles. Let's see. I'm so excited. Ooh, it's beautiful. Hex Breaker with a beautiful black crow. Oh, I don't know what it is. I'll read about it later. But it is some kind of spray. Mm, nice. I'm loving the theme. I'm loving everything about this box. It was worth the wait. Right on top, we have a key. And then we have this. This is becoming one of my second or third favorite boxes. I absolutely love it. Ooh, revenge powder. I'm loving this. Warding. Use only as a last resort. Do, 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 do. Loving this box. I'm loving this box. We have this gorgeous black velvet bag with a beautiful pentacle. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Wow. This is beautiful. It is huge, and it is skulls. All skulls. Beautiful, and on the bottom, we have the pentacle, and they're all little skull beads. Wow, that is amazing. Wow, I'm blown away. That is awesome. Really cool. And different. I like that. Um, we got this big thing in here. I don't know what that is, but all right. We have this. I'm going to open this. This box is lovely. I love it. I'm so excited. It's awesome. Ooh, Hecate Ritual anointing oil. I love the beautiful artwork on this. And the, got lots of herbs in it. Really, the label is beautiful. Love it. I love it. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, no. We got this big, huge bag. Looks like a rainbow moonstone and it's huge. It's a monster size. Wow. Amazing size. Beautiful. And we have, oh my God, there's so much stuff in this box. All right. We have, ooh. The Witches Sav. This was cool. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, and it's black. I like that. Then we have this beautiful wrapped box. I don't want to open it. 
and ruin it. I can't even open it. It's if I open it, it's gonna ruin it. Let me see if I could slide it off. Oh, I can. All right. Uh oh, I dropped it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Beautiful long chain and Hecate's wheel. It's beautiful. A little glare on it from the lamp, so sorry guys, but it's really nice. It's like a brown background with the, it's really cool. That is awesome. Wow, this box is loaded with stuff. And I think there's one more item in here and it's big. So let me grab it. Yep. The last item is this big box here. And it says Hecate Triple Goddess. And I'm dying to know. I'm dying. I don't know. What could it be? I don't know. I don't want to break it. <gasps> oh, I almost broke it. Oh my God. It is beautiful. Oh my goddess. And it came with, and it fell on the floor that you guys heard was a stand. So it, apparently if you don't want to put it on the wall, she gave you a stand so you can place it this way. Oh my gosh, this box is friggin' awesome. Came with so many awesome items. Let me just go over real quick what we got. Wow, unbelievable. Ugh. I'm not gonna go over all the details because it's a ritual in here as well. And that's for me. <laughs> so, Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft and necromancy. Goddess of the crossroads, keeper of the keys. Goddess of the moon, triple goddess. Goddess of night and queen of torches. She has many powers and titles and rightfully so. Hecate has been linked to dark magic, but Hecate magic is just magic. Hecate is exceptionally powerful spirit. Um, Hecate once served as a messenger for other deities. She stole Hera's beauty salve to give her rival Europe, Europa, Hera, enraged, pursued Hecate, who fled first to the bed of a woman in childbirth, then to a funeral possession, then finally to Lake Archon, Archon in Hades, where she was cleansed by the, I'm going to say it wrong, C-A-B-E-I-R-I. -E Hecate emerged more powerful than ever, goddess of birth, death, and purification. She rules passages between the realms of life and death, and thus invoked by necromancers. Um, so I'm just going to go over a little bit of what it says that's in the box. The beautiful skeleton key, the symbolism of Hecate, is the ability to open all doors, allowing passage into those places that exist behind locked barriers. Keys represent knowledge and access, and it is important to note that they can both open doors and lock doors. So, I like that. And then there's an invocation here to charge your key, which is awesome, which I believe she gave us here. Or maybe that's another one. Then the gorgeous Hecate Triple Goddess wall plaque I wanted to include something very special in this box that would present the triple goddess in all of us. I feel this depiction of Hecate helps us relate to those that understand her and the different stages of lies because she is in all of them as well. I hope you can draw power from this image. Hecate stands in, as the triple goddess, maiden, mother, and crone. 
Hecate Bone Prayer Beads. These are absolutely amazing. These prayer beads are made from the bones of a yak that died of natural causes. The pentacle charm was added to invoke the elements and for protection during your prayer of meditation. Again, these are those beautiful beads with the pentacle and the gorgeous bag as well to carry them. And also, she gives a prayer for you for the beads as well. The gorgeous Crossroads candle. She has spell canted these candles for over three days of the dark moon. Skeleton key has been added to open doors and gateways in other realms. Crossroad dirt used to summon Hecate. Black obsidian and black onyx stones bring strength and protection both loved by Hecate. Moonstone chips to represent the moon, as Hecate is also the goddess of the moon. An essence of fresh cut grass and night air to bring the smell of the crossroads into your space. I also included a crossroads prayer on the lid of the candle to recite when you light your candle. Very awesome. And again, if you want to look, it's beautiful. Amazing. Hecate's wheel necklace, Hecate's symbol, wheel is a symbol of witchcraft traditions and is used to represent all three aspects of the goddess, maiden, mother, and crone. Hecate's wheel is a circle within, a, within which is a circular labyrinth surrounding a spiral. The labyrinth is the symbol of rebirth. The central spiral is a symbol of divine thought and the wheel is used to symbolize the power of knowledge and life beautiful Vanyan. the big hunk of rainbow moonstone also known as white labradorite um, a different form of moonstone has inclusions of black tourmaline it connects us to the divine spirit and channels us into our own intentions. Revenge powder. This is an old family recipe and to be honest, I have never used it or had the need to use it, but I have witnessed it in use, in use and I believe me, it's extremely powerful when used correctly. The powder will curse someone by sending Hail, fire, and damnation to them. But since ethically, I don't believe in cursing another human, I will not share that spell with you at this time. But what this will work just dramatically, but this, what, wait, but what this will work just as dramatically for is for rebounding a curse placed on you. Not only will it rebound, but it will return it back to them 10 times worse. This is my reason for adding it, the warning label as on top as a reminder. When a season which places a curse on someone, she will bind it to another spell that will cause her spell to be irreversible. This powder burned on the top of a black candle skull, preferably, and it goes into how to use the powder on how to use it further. There's all the information in here to do that. The Hex Breaker Spell Spray is based on an old traditional conjure blend. It's a famous recipe for building protection wall and protection against you and those who may wish you harm. It's also great for any situation where you're feeling intimidated or may be expressing fear. So this is very, very good. I have a tendency to use that. Then we have this. Oh, God, I almost hit the floor. Hecate ritual oil was created on an evening of the new moon. Included are some of Hecate's favorite mugwort dandelion root, along with black obsidian, black onyx, and moon chips. Sweet scents of tobacco, myrrh, black pepper, and dirt will connect you with Hen Hecate's energy. Then the witch's sav. This salve should be in every witch's apothecary as it doubles up as a truth serum and draws out poison, stingers, and infectious. 
and infections. This salve is made in a huge cauldron o o over an open fire under the waxing moon. The salve has been also known as the witch's kiss because it is believed that if a witch kisses you with this on her lips, you will not only be able to speak the truth, you will only be able to speak the truth. It works great on acne breakouts and spider bites as well. Magic incense sticks. Stimulating spicy scent. Will spend with spell binding notes with fresh ginger, peppercorn, cinnamon bark, and aromatic cloves and vanilla sugar. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. And of course, the Grimoire Pages, using the energy of the Moon Grimoire Page. And the artwork and the Zodiac. So, this box is awesome. Absolutely beautiful. I will, it's very detailed. There's lots of awesome stuff in here. Um, like little spells to do with each items. Um, so the items in the box, you can use the spells for. That's what I'm not saying, because if you didn't get the box, you don't need to know the spell, because you didn't need the item to go with it. But everything in here is fully detailed. Absolutely love it. That's all I can say. I will leave you guys the information on the bottom, as always. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Talk to you later.